Well, in my last podcast, I, I said I didn't know if I was going to be able to do another podcast for a few days because I was going to be on the road and uh, away from my uh, home computers. But I got my laptop with me, and uh, I'm not sure how the connection will be. If I can't upload this today, I'll I'll upload it uh, uh, in a few days, or at least a couple days anyway. I thought I would uh, I thought I would uh, just get with you here and uh, just uh, share a little scripture with you this morning, and uh, let me just change the screen here to the message let's see here okay there it is I just was going to talk to you about God's wrath on the unrighteousness and uh, I'm going to be in Romans uh, chapter 1 and this is uh, really uh, it's a hard chapter uh, to digest because God is going to pour his wrath out on the unrighteousness of, of of the world and uh, we know that in the past he he uh, poured judgment out on Sodom Gomorrah he uh, uh, we see his judgment in the flood uh, so it's uh, not unlikely that uh, God would not pour his wrath out again uh, on a very unrighteous world uh, just before uh, his returning to earth, I believe that he is going to cleanse the earth, uh, and uh, there's going to be great wrath poured out, as we know from the book of Revelation. So with that said, I'm just going to read a little scripture. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness surpass the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has showed it to them. God has showed us all these things. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, has been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. Nobody has an excuse not to understand that there is a God, because God has shown it. The other day I showed a picture of lightning coming down in this one picture in the desert and uh, it just shows the unleashed, untamed power of just a lightning storm. And uh, just think of when God sends his lightning down from heaven, his wrath upon men. I mean, he can direct a lightning bolt right to wherever he wants to. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him. But they became fruitile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools, and exchanged the glory of the immortable, immortable God uh, for the image of, uh, that resembles mortal men and birds and animals and creeping things. Men make their own gods, and we do that even today. We all have gods. I mean, just look around you. People think of things more than they think of God. Anytime you make anything of more higher priority than God, then it becomes an idol, an image. Therefore God gave them up to the lust of their hearts, to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves, because they exchanged the truth of God for a lie, and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason, God gave them up to dishonor, dishonorable passions. For the women exchanged the natural relationships for those that are contrary to nature. And men, likewise, gave up natural relationships with women and were consumed with passion, one for another. Men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty of their error. You know, we're talking about homosexuality here. This is a hard subject because pe- uh, people will say, well, God loves even homosexuals. God loves people. He does not love sin. 
and homosexuality is a sin, and God brings this out. This is not a natural thing. You know, there's a lot of people that will disagree with me uh, on this subject, but this is from God's own word. It's not mine, it's God's word. The power is in his word. And says, since they did not see, and since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a disbased mind to do what ought not to be done. They were filled with all manner of unrighteousness, evil, covetedness, malice, and they were uh, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, uh, maliciousness. They are gossipers, slander, haters of God, insolent, haunty, boastful, uh, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless. Boy, what a picture of mankind. They, Though they knew God's righteous decrees uh, that those who practice such things deserve to die. They not only do them, but they give approval to those who practice them. So even if you're not a homosexual and you approve of it, you're guilty. That's what God's word said. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to pray for you, though. And I'm going to pray that the Lord uh, softens your heart to understand what I'm saying is truth. It's not just... It's not just um, words. It's words from God that condemns these things. We ought to listen to God's word. Let's pray. Lord, I know there's many out there that might be listening to this that might be uh, thinking about the things I'm saying, Lord, and, and maybe a lot of them don't agree with me. We know that God is love, and you truly are love, Lord. But you do not tolerate unrighteousness. Uh, and mankind uh, become very unrighteous in the deeds that they do. And then they think, of, think that they're, they're, uh, they're accepted by God because of their deeds. Lord, we know that you accept all. Uh, but we have to come to you on your terms. And your terms require repentance. We have to turn from our sin and give our lives to you. Lord, we just thank you now that uh, we can read your word and understand that uh, uh, someday there will be uh, wrath poured out on the ungodliness of men. And Lord, that day is coming soon. And we know that uh, this is going to be. So Lord, again, we just thank you that uh, we were able to look at your word today and just think about it. and. Uh, we just pray now in your wonderful name. And if there's anybody out there, Lord, that uh, that has not given their life to you, that hears this message, may they turn from their wicked ways, and may they come to you, and you will accept them uh, on that basis, on the basis of your Son, who was sacrificed for their sins. In your name we pray, amen. Well, again, thank you for joining me, and I know that this is a, kind of a, Kind of a bad way to do it. I'm, I'm in a motel room right now uh, and uh, just on our, our getaway for, for a few days. And uh, it was my wife's birthday yesterday, and we're kind of celebrating our 60th wedding anniversary. So uh, I'm just glad I had a chance just to give you this message this morning. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Until next time, well, we'll see you now. Goodbye. Have a great day.